Welcome to the Jaffa programming tutorial. What we're going to do in this tutorial is a combo box. We've all used them on the internet um, and forms and things like that. There, a good example is age. So you can select what age group you're in, whether you're a child, teenager, adult, mature adult, um, an older adult. So it's like um, so you would click a box, a wee menu would pop down, you'd select which one is appropriate to you and it would be saved um, with your details. And so we'll start that straight away. Um, what we're going to do is create a J combo box. So public J combo box and we'll call it combo and it's going to be static right, because we're going to initialize it inside main but doing this we've made it global and so we've got the whole scope of it in the program um, and so if we go down called combo equals new because we make a new object of it and then the constructor is j combo box with the brackets so it's us created a combo box now what we can do is we can assign a whole array to it um, strings array and it will all be made at one but we're going to do it the more difficult the more time consuming way the easier way but I just want to so that you, you can see it because um, this is an official tutorial so you can see that you can do one at a time or you can do the way you'll probably do this in the whole array um, but this is the way we're going to do it dot add I'm not going to just add a component I'm going to add uh, item so I'm not too sure if it's add Add item. Add item. So what it is is an object. Now we're going to add a string, um, and a string is an object. It's got its own class string, so it's an object. Uh, a string is actually an array of characters, and so we can bring in here. We can say. Added free, fancy, plain fancy, and show. Right, so that's free added to the combo box. Now, what we need to do is we need to add an action listener to the combo box. And so, a combo box is just like a button. It's just like like a checkbox or a radio or radio um, button. So. So we can use an action listening for it, but we can use different ones, different listeners for it as well. Um, so we're going to add the action listener. Add 
to action listener and what we've been doing is if in the past two rules this made an instance of this class which implements action listener um, and we've assigned a name to it f and so that's what we're saying here we could use this keyword but we're not doing that so that's just added action listener to it now we need to add this to the toolbar because that's where we're going to put it so toolbar at the bottom we're going to go td dot add um, component and it's going to be combo combo okay that's it added and so what we can do now is we can save and run the program so that you can see it and you can see it here and because of the the, the dayalt manager that we've got on it and um, we've not actually assigned a dayalt manager so it's actually just made this as, as big as possible to fill in this space and we'll sort that out so we can click and change right but we've not done anything with the action listener yet but what we're going to do is we're going to change the action listener so this will be a dot nicer and where we do that actual bar will be at the top to bar so we'll just follow on from here and we'll go td dot add um, not td I want to set the layout manager set um, layout and I just need to type in the with the the keyword with the layout manager and we're going to go for throw layout its brackets because it's a constructor and the alt has got to be spelled right so that's it done so if we save the program the toolbars we've changed the layout in the toolbar and you'll see there'll be a difference and you don't see that here because it's been moved it's been moved down there but if we stretch this out you see it appears and you can see it's it's the size is for the text it's within um, so you see that's working right. and so what we'll do is we'll take one of them away so that when we start the program it will be we'll take this one away here and save run the program you can see it's there because we took one away so it's got the space Okay, and now we're going to go to the action, the action performed, and what we're going to do is we're going to another if statement, and so in the past tutorial we created an object of get source. Um, and so we could test for objects. So we're going to test for an object, and that object is called combo. And so anytime we, we do something with combo, this is going to be printed. And just to prove it, we're going to we'll run the program so you can see it. And uh, move this over. Charles. Charles. Run Charles. But that's not any good to us. What we want to do. If we select um, fancy, then we want to be able to do something with that fancy, and so we need another if statement. And so we'll put this other if statement in here, and it's not it's not um, this condition we want to test for. Um, this. another way of doing it and um, what we're going to do, what we've done here we created an object what we're going to do is create a J object so 
object from the get the event and so what we're going to do is j j combo box I forgot what it was called j combo box and we'll call it cp yeah cp equals new and we cast it the same as we've done here cast it to an object this is going to be cast to a combo box, combo box. Um, and this will only happen if a combo box has been event has happened so j combo box so that's cast into that and what we're going to do is it's going to be we don't need a new keyword that's to carry the way us because we normally do this with we create an object of this we're not doing that so what we're doing is we're passing whatever object gets passed here we're going to pass here as a j combo box so it's going to be e dot get source and that will pass the whole object and that will allow us to access methods in that object like um, um, get selected item which we can't do from this action event and so now that we've got this we can do create a string but we'd normally make this string global global um, so that we can access it in the whole computer but we can just do it here just to show you um, string equals and we're going to cast it again string and then after that we're going to use the, the object that we created from the event which is cb dot get selected item So if we select fancy, this is what's going to get passed to this to this um, string, and we can print it out. We can print it out. That's just to show you that we can use it. But we can save it to a file. We can save it to someone's details. So once we can do this, we can do anything with it. And what's it called? Passed. just hope this works so when when we select fancy fancy has been printed when we select official official has been printed this is because I passed here remember with two that's this one here has got the the change listener on it so when we pass by it it changes its condition and so when we get back to plain, there you go, and change it back to official. So that's us using the combo box, and we changed the throw the out to make that look better. And so, what you've got to remember is that there's many different throw the outs, and you may not be getting the desired layout with a certain type of um, layout manager that you're using. Um, then try a different one to see if that works better. Um, because there's a lot of ones to use and sometimes the one that you think you, you should be using doesn't work well with a certain component and so that's when you'll try a different one so again thank you for your time and I hope that's been useful